Hello and welcome back. As being a fan of plasma arcs, I thought why not to build a high voltage or to be precise 20000 volts power source that basically spits out plasma arcs or in other words ionizes the air. So in this video we will learn about flyback transformers and how to build a 20000 volt power source as well as we will delve into the fourth state of matter which is plasma state. So let's get started. First things first, warning, high voltage at high frequencies can be dangerous, can mess with your nerves and sometimes can be fatal. Replicate this on your own risk. The amazing thing about this 20,000 volt plasma power source is that it can just fit in the palm of your hand. So let's first go through the supplies we need. Firstly, we need a flyback transformer. So what's a flyback transformer you ask? It is basically a ferrite core transformer with a little primary windings and a lot of secondary windings. They are generally found in old CRT TVs or in plasma arc machines. Secondly, we need a MOSFET as a fast switching device. We can use IRL Z44N or some other power MOSFETs. One another thing, we need a huge heat sink which we salvaged from old PCBs as talked in the previous video. Thirdly, we need a gate driving resistor of around 150 to 500 ohms, a prototyping board in which we can assemble this all and to make it look a bit fancy, we need some huge screws. So the schematic is perceivable and easy to understand and I will explain you in a minute but let's first build it. So I started with arranging the screws and the ray gun kinda thing in place then the flyback transformer, the heat sinks with the MOSFET and resistors. Lastly I added the screw terminals to hook up the power which is around 12 to 15 volts to it. To make the circuit look a bit fancy, we will salvage a Reagan kind of thing from an old PCB and attach it to the secondary of the transformer and the second terminal of the secondary which is the return path goes to the another screw which is about 5 cm away from it. And our build is complete but we will have a quick 1 minute session on plasma. So what is plasma? Is it some magic or some pseudoscience? Don't dare you. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. So how to generate plasma you ask? Plasma is nothing but the breakdown of air. As air is also a dielectric medium, it breaks down at about 3 lakh volt per meter or 30,000 volt per centimeter and creates a short circuit or a return path. But enough of this plasma physics, let's supply 12 to 15 volts to the screw terminals and see the magic of plasma arcs. But wait, we are heading ahead. One more note about plasma arcs here is that its range is in audible frequency, which means you can hear the plasma arcs glowing. So as you can see, the arcs are quite long enough and the main feature of it is its portability as well as producing lengthy enough arcs. So where is this used? It is used in building high voltage tesla coils or in particle accelerators and in some ignition thrusters as well. So now give me just 45 seconds and I will explain you the entire circuit function. Firstly. We will supply a 12 to 15 volts at the screw terminals. The supplied voltage turns the gate on through a winding. And as soon as the gate turns on, the drain to source path becomes active and it induces 
a voltage in the secondary now after some time the saturation of ferrite core occurs and it switches off the mosfet or turns off the mosfet and this switching madness goes on and on now the switching frequency is about 15 to 18 kilohertz and that's where the audible frequency lies so in the next video we will talk about what are plasma arcs used for what it can cut through and how it can wirelessly transfer energy into inert gases like neon argon krypton and xenon so till then stay tuned like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon